Hi, I'm Selena for Who is Jesus Today. How are you doing, world? In all honesty, there are some good things that are, are happening on the planet, and there are some not so good things, some bad things, some devastation. But sometimes I believe we just don't focus enough on the good because that's very encouraging for all of us. Let me read this Bible verse. A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. Proverbs 17, 17. And this actually, uh, I, I was looking for a Bible verse like this because I was uh, glancing at um, the rescue uh, a mission that is going on now in Turkey. And also, uh, well, I, I saw uh, Syria yesterday. And um, there is, there they are still pulling people out of some of the buildings. Maybe like some of those buildings were not um, as much uh, destroyed, you know. But there could still be people trapped. Um, and I've seen people join this uh, mission. Uh, they come, they've come from around the world to help. Um, the people in Turkey. And again, th there are uh, many uh, foreigners that are in Turkey. I mean, I I'm maybe we'll be hearing uh, later about uh, people that may be close to your uh, region or uh, your state, your neighborhood. Um, you could imagine, I have been thinking about foreign teachers. In fact, I was thinking about going to teach in Turkey um, not that long ago, maybe a year or two ago. Yeah, maybe maybe a year ago. It was something I was considering at a school there. Um, I don't think I had the courage to go, but I was thinking about it. So, I, I, you know, there are uh, people that are not um, a part of a Turkish society, but they have taken trips there, and, and there's many types of situations and scenarios. But what really got to my heart was to see the way humans are made to love. And made to respond to the need, to the needs of other humans. And that, you know what I see? When I see that, I see something in all of us that's connected to God. And that is, we were created in the image of God. And regardless of where you're from in the world, what you believe, your background, how you look, the socioeconomic status and sometimes you may say well there are those that are so depraved and they are so full of hate and anger they won't help anyone but you know I, I, I beg to differ there are a people that society has given up on they've given up on themselves but if something was to go down tragic and they realized that they could go and save that person um, from being, you know, destroyed or from drowning or, 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 or something. People, there's something about us that it seems to come to the surface and we will reach out to help. I, I, and I, I mean, even if a person has been doing wrong things, for most of their lives, there is still something that can trigger them to put their own lives at risk and reach out and help. 
when I see that, I see God working in us and through us. Even when we are disconnected from who He is. Even when we don't really know who is Jesus. And some will be honest and say they don't really care to know. I understand because I didn't care to know either. That's been a while ago, but I still can recall when I had no interest. But even then, I know I cared about what would happen to other people. And so, I am blessed when I look at the faces of people in Turkey and Syria that are risking their own lives to go after people that may also not even be alive and yet they're putting themselves at risk just in case just in case I just wish it wouldn't have to take such tragedy for us to come to the surface and realize no matter how hard or tough we try to be there is something deep inside of us I say just about most of us I haven't uh, given up on humanity yet how about you that cares that cares remembering 9-11 how people cared I won't forget how firemen and transit workers and transit officers decided to do their jobs that day and to go into those buildings understanding that their fate of getting out alive was slim. But they showed up to work. And they went in searching for life. Maybe a few lives were saved, some were saved, but many of them were not. And so there is just something about us that if we're pushed far enough love some love comes to the surface even sometimes the most hard you say this person is so hard-hearted sometimes you know even as Christians you say that is this person even redeemable I've heard a testimonies of people who have done some terrible things I remember I don't I don't I don't recall this person's name anyway so uh, I remember this man gave a testimony in church um, and he had uh, caused several people's lives to be taken you know he had a criminal background and he spent some time in jail but he was set free he was redeemed and he shared with us that one thing that's hard to live with is that I sent many people to hell. That's what he believes their fate were because of the, their circumstances in life. And he said, but I'm on my way to heaven. And he realized that God's grace it just didn't seem fair. But it's unmerited favor. None of us earned it, none of us deserve it, but God decided to give it to us. And even to the most corrupt person, you say, ah, this, I'm, I'm, I mean, this person has gone down so bad. Is there, if they, is there even a heart left in them? But that one that you can look at and say, I believe they are heartless. They may be the one that sees an elderly woman about to... Uh, go out in the street and, and she's in, in danger and, and for the cars and they will put themselves out there and snatch that woman and save her life. Just something to think about. 
don't give up yet on humanity. Don't give up yet on those who you see, you feel they're just hopeless. Uh, there is power in transformation. There is power in transformation. And we must be willing to allow people to transform. We must accept their transformation when they tell us what has happened. Not be in disbelief or try to keep taking them back to who they were and what they used to do. Allow people to be transformed. But even before they are transformed, there is still something in them that is connected to their Creator. Because we are all created in the image of God and no matter how dark a situation is or a person's heart, and, and this is why I say that, that why do we have to keep waiting though for the most tragic times? How about taking in Proverbs 17:17 17, 17 more, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. And you can see in this devastation of the, of the earthquake in these uh, countries that um, those are their fellow uh, brothers in the land and sisters. And for us who aren't there, uh, so are we. Because we realize that tragedy has hit another human being to which we are all linked to. We are linked to each other. A tragedy in one part of the world is still a human tragedy for all. That's one way of looking at it. Not an easy way of looking at it. It's hard not to be self-centered. I would agree. It's hard. <laughs> but we have the power of God, the grace of God. It's hard not to think that our ways are best. I agree. And I would say also, again, choose your friends carefully because, you know, anyone who wants me for a friend, they have a right to test me and see if I am a true friend. Because, see, a friend loves at all times. A true brother is born for adversity. Not that, you know, when you're in trouble, then they're nowhere to be found. <laughs> then they're not really a, a part of your life. Just some thoughts. Um, yeah, so I'm going to call out a few places that if you feel led and God has to lead you. And also I want you to know, just because I call out a place at that time, I'm not saying to you that I am actually interceding at that time for that place um, but I certainly am I'm open for a download of the Holy Spirit for how to pray um, again Syria and Turkey um, the uh, families that have lost uh, relatives there that are from the United States and other parts of the world um, who got trapped in this um, Again, a closer uh, to, to the North American uh, hemisphere, the nation of Haiti needs prayer, needs help, needs safety, needs leadership. Okay, it really does. Ethiopian, Ethiopia and Ethiopian Jews in Israel. I won't open up this topic now, but yes, um, I do follow that some, and so there are needs that they have. Um, yeah, but just for the country of Ethiopia in general, also Eritrea and Somalia, we cannot forget Somalia. Somalia has needs. Right. Fellow brothers and sisters 
of the faith in the country of Nigeria need to be prayed for and remembered. Brothers and sisters in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Thailand, China, Cambodia, North Korea, South Korea, a lot easier in South Korea than North Korea. And when I was mentioning New York, uh, I felt I felt really bad. I forgot Staten Island. Oh yeah, I forgot. If if anyone happens to have heard that a video, you come across this, forgive me, Staten Island. Stat Staten Islanders, I know you're close to Jersey. That's the thing. You're almost a part of New Jersey. It's been hard. It's been kind of you know wondering, are you New Yorkers or are you from New Jersey or New Jerseyans? Uh, but as far as I know, you belong to New York. So, Lord, pour out your spirit on the on the territory of Staten Island, New York. Yes, and all of of New York City and its struggles, the issues there. And we forget about the tri-state Connecticut. I don't think much about Connecticut, but. God, you love Connecticut. That's right. Yes. Israel. Israel. More on Israel. Yes. More on Israel. Lebanon. Jordan. Just calling out some of the places. Panama, Guatemala, Ecuador. Don't hear much about Ecuador, and I mean, like in the media, but it's a beautiful country. The city of Quito has lots of English teachers, lots of Americans in Quito. Okay, so that's it. Uh, on this uh, channel, I am uh, open, and I like to take in the world. So. Like I say, uh, it's not about just one group or one type or one region because, you know, for those who know Jesus and for those who don't know Jesus and for the United States of America and also the other regions of the world. Right. As you are led and if this is also your heart and your mission, then this would be a channel that you would probably be interested in because I do want to uh, actually open up more to have uh, a prayer for a specific uh, regions at that time but I want to be led and uh, I, I really feel that it's, it is going to come eventually and maybe we'll have a prayer, uh, a live prayer for the country of Haiti. Okay, and thanks for listening. And we'll, we'll meet again. You can like and subscribe. Shalom.